YouTube, Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new to the page, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, thanks for tuning in. I like to start every video by saying thanks. I can't do what I do without you. I'd appreciate it if you go down below, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every single time. I give you any type of leans go live, um, give you videos, put out the podcast. Podcast video should be coming very shortly. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys are up to date with everything we're doing here. If you're not following Bryce, make sure you do so. TikTok and Twitter um, is mainly where he operates and is located. All his social media links are down below. He had a monster day yesterday, cashed a four unit in golf, and then he had three, three college basketball plays. He swept the board in that. So huge day to Bryce. Shout out to him. The weekend package is up. Obviously, it stays up. Uh, weekend pass, $34.99. You'll be able to hop on board and take advantage of what we had. I had another another positive ROI day, two and two overall, but we had two best bets and we cashed those. One of those you guys got right here for free. So don't, you know, don't make it like I don't give you guys some quality content here um, and, and quality picks because we're going to make sure we take care of you guys. And you never know which ones are going to be best bets and which ones are not. But if you hopped on the card, you had a tremendous day. We're going to look to have another good day here today. We will have some NBA that usually comes out closer to the afternoon. I like to get a look at the injury reports. Guys always are in and out kind of late in the NBA. Um, but we'll obviously have some college basketball as well. So coming off another positive ROI day, we're having a fantastic month. We're having fantastic college basketball. College basketball season is up. It is discounted in honor of my birthday. Hop on board, take advantage of that. Uh, college basketball week is discounted in honor of my birthday as well. Hop on over to defeatthebook.com. Take a look at it. You won't be disappointed. The numbers are up there as well. The season totals were over 41 units ROI uh, this season, and we want to try to continue to build that. Hopefully we can get up over 50, 60 units will be, will be great. Um, one of the goals that I've had starting the season. So Want to have a good um, free pick here. We're three in a row. Want to try to get you another one here today. Let's get to it. Too much talking, right? If you look for full recap, defeatthebook.com. You scroll down the homepage, it's right there. Units attached. Everything we've had for the whole week, it's there. Go there. Check it out. Let's go. Free pick. We're going to take a look here at a game that should be on ESPN here, the Horizon League. Um, both these teams are going to be excited. Uh, I feel like basketball in the Horizon League. I mean, I like watching the Horizon League, but I feel like a lot of people don't. I think it's going to be on ESPN, too. We have Oakland, who's coming off the big win there. Um, against Detroit Mercy. I believe they were underdogs in that one, five and a half point underdogs in that one. I didn't pull the trigger on that one. I really wanted to, but um, they went up against Davis, uh, the nation's leading scorer, nation, the, the all-time, I believe, leading um, three-point maker in college basketball history, fifth-year senior out there in Detroit, and they went out there and got the job done. Um, now, they're nine and a half point favorites in this one, going into Youngstown, and Youngstown State's coming off a loss here, um, 88 to 75 on the road to Milwaukee. Now, in the Horizon League, these teams are matched up evenly 7-3 and three here in conference play. Moving into the final stretch, led by Northern Kentucky, the Norse. Um, one of the better uh, defensive teams in the country. One of the better defensive teams in this country. Well, the best defensive team in this country. I shouldn't say one of the better. The best defensive team in this country, in this, <laughs> in this conference, right? Got mush mouth here this morning. So we're going to see Oakland go into this one, and I think they're being... Um, a little bit overvalued here in this one. The line started at 10. It's going out to 9. A lot of people were hopping on it. They did split last year, but this Youngstown State team is very different. They are one of the best scoring teams in the country. You run their numbers. You check their stuff. They're top 10 in every major offensive category. They're scoring 85 points a game. The field goal percentage is up. The three-point percentage is up. Um, and neither one of these teams, honestly, are very good defensively. They're just they're just okay defensively. Oakland, I believe, had success against Detroit Mercy and some of these other teams. So they're fifth. Um, in conference, defensively in the conference. Um, but a lot of these teams in the Horizon League, if you're familiar with this league, really only have one guy, right? So Northern Kentucky really hangs on Warwick. That's their guy. He scores the bulk of their points. Um, similar to Detroit Mercy, who hangs on Davis, who scores the bulk of their points. And a lot of these teams only really have one big guy that's going to score a lot of points. Jalen Stone um, scores a lot of points here for Oakland. Um, they do have Rocket Watt, um, but he doesn't really store, score to the level that Stone does. Um, Cohill is a great score for Youngstown, but Youngstown just has so many guys that can put the ball in the hole. This is another senior laden team. They start five guys, they bring another senior off the bench, um, and they score it at a high clip and a high rate. They're going to have the red out tonight. The fans are going to be there. The TV is going to be there. I believe we'll have a game um, for up until about halftime or a little bit into that, and then I expect Youngstown to really open it up. 
uh, and get it rolling here. I think Oakland plays the zone like they did last time. Um, and even in the last game, Youngstown made a ton of threes, I believe uh, double digit amount of threes, but they turned it over 21 times, which is not really typical for Youngstown either. So I'm looking for them to come back um, off a bad loss here. Coming back home should be packed house. A lot of people there will be sketchy early with the emotions and the hype. Usually teams get a little bit crazy. Then I expect them to settle in and play their game and pull away later in this game. Youngstown State's just too good of an offensive team to hang around with a team like Oakland who really doesn't rebound the ball very well either. They're going to control the glass. They're going to, they're a better offensive team and a similarly equal defensive team. Give me Youngstown State at home here. Lay the nine and a half points is my official free pick of the day. I do believe this number is going to change. If you can get it early, get it early. I think it's going to go back up to 10 and possibly a little bit higher. But for now, Youngstown State lay the nine and a half is official free pick of the day. Hop on the weekend package. You won't be disappointed today to, till Sunday. Everything that we have on the card, um, obviously Bryce is in the golf. He'll have some NFL, one of the best in the business in NFL. I'll have some NFL as well as we've done really well in the NFL playoffs. I believe it's eight and three or nine and three in the NFL playoffs for myself over 10 units. So we're going to try to continue to trend in that direction, continue to have uh, oral, positive ROI days, continue to have good content for you guys to consume. Um, but it's Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com, guys. Best of luck if you decide to tail. But either way, hope you guys have a great Friday. Good luck.